Today, we are surrounded by mentors who are throwing their hands up to help us. You can literally find and connect with anyone around the globe with just a click of a button. So when finding a mentor is as easy as picking your favorite dish at a Japanese a la carte restaurant, how do we find the right one? How do we know if they are the best fit? How do we know if we should even be listening to them or not? Speaking from my own experience, today I don't even have a design mentor because I'm not looking to become a better designer, which doesn't mean you shouldn't be. For the last seven years, I've been leveraging my design skills to build businesses. So I actually have business mentors, people with a wealth of experience in accounting, capital allocation, growth and building teams. These are the things I want to continue learning. Now that leads me to the first step when trying to find a mentor. First, ask yourself, why do I even need a mentor? In other words, what problem is the mentor going to be helping me solve? Am I trying to build a business? Am I trying to master a very specific skill? Am I trying to land a job? What am I trying to achieve? And the more specific you can be, the better it's going to be. Now second, find a mentor that has what you want. But it's not as easy as you may think. If you're looking to land a job, find a mentor that has a job that you want. But be very specific. The more specific you are, the better. If you want a job at a high growth startup, find one at a high growth startup. If you want a job at Google, find a mentor that's working or has worked at Google or other very similar big tech companies before. If you are looking to progress into a head of design role, find someone who has been there and done that. If you are looking to start your own business with your own design skills and make a million dollars, find someone who has started their own business with their design skills and have actually made a million dollars. I cannot stress this enough. Don't find any average Joe to mentor you just because they have the word senior, founder, or 10 years of experience in their titles. Find someone who actually talks the talk and walks the walk. Now third, put your best foot forward. Let's be honest, if you think anyone that's really pushing the boundaries is just going to take time out of their day to help you, you have to be kidding yourself. When finding a mentor, it's like any other relationship. It's a two-way street. If you're going to benefit from this relationship, then you must too. So when you have a clear idea of exactly who you'd love to be your mentor, put together a plan. You need to know exactly, what exactly do I need? How can this person help me? How much time would I need? And what can I offer in return? The worst thing you can do is come to the table with, I'm struggling to land a job. This lacks context, detail, and thoroughness. Instead, when you reach out to these people, be clear. For example, I've been rejected by six companies all within the first round of interviews. I have a strong feeling it's due to my lack of experience in the UX process, as I am a much stronger UI designer. I have seen the work that you have produced at Company X, and I would love to pick your brain for just 30 minutes because I know you can help me land that job. If you give me this opportunity, it will make my day and I will also be so happy to share it with my audience. Just remember, people have navigated their career successfully are most likely going to be very, very busy people. They are open to helping others, but they only have limited time on their hands. If you want a piece of their attention, you have to come prepared and you have to show them that you have worked on yourself already. So ultimately, they feel that with their help, it's really going to make a difference. You know, I'm often presented with the challenge by a lot of people of how do professional people or comedians or whatever you're in find mentorship in, in the specific field that you're in. I think that, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that people who are successful Really, they don't mind sharing the principles. Most people that I know that are successful don't have a problem with teaching you how to fish. Now, if you over there looking for a fish sandwich, you got a problem. And most people, if you email or reach out to them and said, hey, look, I'm young, I'm new, I'm really looking for a mentor, I'm looking for some advice, you know, maybe if there's something you could help me with, or just I'd love to be able to run some things by somebody who's in more in the know-how that I am, you know, that's how it's done, you know. 
most successful people will have a problem share with you the principles of success or how it's done in your class. I found that to be true. Now, if you found this video useful or valuable, make sure to gently smash that like button because it really does help me on this channel. Subscribe for the Dahad fans. And if you want to learn more, make sure to check out this video. Done.